Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.50.0 and 9.51.0. I'm including both the changes in 50 and 51th version. And I think this is going to be the last release of the version 9 because Laravel 10 is about to be released. So now let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this style blade directive. We already have at the rate class directive and similar to that of the class directive we have this style directive it works the same way so here currently i'm here in the lara tips the test and here in the welcome.blade.php so here let me just add hi lara tips and here let me add this style directive here so here i'll just write color white and if i don't write true or false as a value then this thing will be rendered now we have color white now let me add this background red and if i say false over here then this thing will not be rendered and if i just write one more thing which is background green and here true then background red will be actually rendered so let me show you that over here let me refresh the page over here and you can see here green and let me just inspect it and show you you can see here color white and background red this false is not shown similarly if i just write here true and here let me write false then it will show me the red background similarly you don't have to write semicolon over here because it will automatically add the semicolon over here you can see here but let's say we want to write here padding for both of these cases then we have to write semicolon over here and padding let's say 20 pixel but in the end we don't have to write okay in the middle we have to write but in the end we don't have to write so let me just remove it from here and refresh the page then you can see here and just see here the generated code there is this semicolon here let me just remove this code from here and this feature has been contributed by this user sorry it is very difficult to pronounce this name so i'm not pronouncing now let us move to the second thing that has been added which is this adds database query count test exception helper so let me show you a query over here web.php here in the home controller so currently I am just getting all the users and user can have many posts okay currently I have users table and post table and a user can have many posts so this is the only one query that is running over here but if we go here in the welcome.blade.php and here is the table and you can see here it is accessing count through the relationship and if I show you over here user posts you can see here this is has many relationships so it will get all the posts of this user and then it will get the count obviously this is not the best way of getting the counts of the posts of a user but just to show you as an example i'm showing you this so here we will expect that eager loading was being used and we only expect that the home controller has two database requests but if we use it like this it will just cause n plus one query problem and we'll have many database queries so now let me go here in the test i have just written a test over here command test we have this expects database query count new method by which we can expect the number of queries that are run whenever we visit to certain page so here currently i am visiting home page and i am only expecting to run two database queries but let's see what happens so here let me run php unit and you can see here it fails and it says that expected two database queries but there are two well database queries that occurred actually so we saw this error now we'll go here in the web.php in the home controller and then we'll add let's say with posts which means that it will get all the users with one query and all the posts of the related users using second query and it will just combine those two now if i just go over here in the tests and again run the same test over here it is passing but obviously you can just go over here and let's say posts underscore count like this and here in the test controller sorry not here but in the home controller we can just say with count and here in the test command we can only expect one database query it will only run one database query because it will get the count by using the sub query so here this is the most optimal way of getting the counts okay so here let me go to this test and run the php unit test then you can see here it is passing so only one query has been run and if i just go you go over here and let me just refresh the page and you, you can see here this name email and this post count over here it is being shown over here okay and this feature has been contributed by tim mcdonald who is the core member of laravel now let us move to the third thing which is 
this pending has many through relationship if you see here in the laravel documentation we have this has many through over here let me just show you that over here like this so here is the has many through a project can have many deployments through environments okay this is a relationship so previously whenever we want to access this relationship then we had to do it like this if i just go over here in the project then i can do it like this project has many through deployments and environments we can just remember it like this a project has many deployments through environments i remembered it like this previously it was like this and let me show you this i have already seeded so many data so here if i just run it i have three projects and project has many environments and environment has many deployments but we can directly get the deployments by omitting the middle using the has many through relationship and getting the data like this you can see here i am getting data and everything is working perfectly fine but now there is a new syntax to access the deployments so here let me do it deployments return this through first of all we'll write through which this deployments will be faced so a project through environments and this environments here you have to define this relationship over here this through environments and has and this in by whatever you pass over here that model will be over here environment and deployments like this so let me just comment this out and here we'll say a project through environments has deployments okay so this is the new syntax but to be honest this syntax is much more readable to me than this one what do you think about this guys let me know in the comment section below so if i do it like this and again run it then it will give us the same results and this feature is also contributed by tim mcdonald who is the core member of laravel now let's move to the fourth thing which is this add uri templates to the http client and i am just going to show you guys so previously whenever we wanted to create such kind of uri then we had to concatenate different variables and do it but now here we can just pass an array and these key and these params should match and this will be replaced over here this will be this docs will be replaced over here similarly other values as well and this will actually look like this now let us look at the fifth and the final thing that has been added which is this update the facade script in order to guess the talk blog so previously whenever a new feature was added to a facade or new method was added to a facade then the laravel team had to manually update the dog blog as well but now tim mcdonald has contributed a feature by which it will automatically detect the new method that has been added to the facade and automatically added to the dog block as well and definitely this feature will make the life of the developer who used to update the dogs much much easier and one thing to keep in mind that it will not automatically generate the dog blocks for the facades that we have created manually it will only create the docs box for those that are present by default in the laravel core 